everyone, I am Shorek Urbani from Project Control Academy and today I have the honor of meeting um, Brian Leach uh, from uh, Sterling and uh, we are now going to learn about this innovative tool and solution that they offer and see how we can utilize that for our own benefit. So welcome to this interview. Very nice Thank meeting you. you, Brian. So uh, if you just introduce yourself a bit and tell us uh, a bit about uh, the company, we appreciate it. Sure. So um, I'm Brian Leach and founder and CEO of Steel Ray Software. We were founded in 2000, so we've been around a while. And our mission is to help our customers better understand their project schedule. And we do that with schedule analysis software. And the software focuses on schedule health, some products, and some, uh, and the brand new technology, which is delay analysis. Fantastic. I think schedule is an area that all of us need to analyze and there are not much yeah. out there like it's left to the practitioner to find a way to do that. Yeah. So can you shed more light on what type of analysis we can do with Sterling? Sure. So the delay analysis takes a process which is forensic schedule delay analysis and as you know it takes hours or usually several days to do this and you're applying these changes to the schedule and you're watching what happens to the finish date. So our solution uses a computer to do that and it does it within seconds because good analysis you're doing it in real time you have questions you want to find the answer to those questions you don't want to hit a button and then go get coffee for 10 minutes because then when you come back you're wondering well what was it that I was doing so our goal is that you be able to ask those questions and get those answers pretty much at the speed of thought as soon as you're thinking about it. And how does it work? Is it like what if scenarios that you run? Um, yeah, so let's say someone gives you the April update of a schedule okay. and you want to compare it to the March schedule. Mm -hmm. So what you might have done before is use a tool like Claim Digger to compare the schedules and then you have this massive table of every difference. Right. So we're doing that, except we're going through those differences for you. We're applying them to the schedule fractionally, actually a minute at a time, watching the finish date, and then at the end of it, we're just showing you the changes to the schedule that had an impact. So it's like getting the answers instantly. And how many iterations you do? Is it like based on iterations or just... Yeah, so uh, what, what we're doing is it depends on, you know, it's a month, right? We're, okay. we're, let's say we're comparing March to April. We are going one minute at a time. We are applying the fractional changes that happened in that minute, watching what happens to the finish date. And it's a half step analysis. So we separate the progress, delays and recovery from the schedule revision side of things. And we do both and we show you both. And let us know what happens after we run the analysis. So the software give us what? What would be the outcome that people yeah. would um, get out of and what they can do with the outcome? Sure, so the outcome, the output of the analysis is just a list of here are the changes that we saw that impacted the finish date. Maybe it was this activity delayed 10 days and it pushed the finish date out by two weeks. Uh, so we just give you the list of what was impacting the, what finish, was driving date. the finish date. Yeah, what, what so happened? So you don't need to do your own critical path analysis. Basically, the tool can give you all the scenarios, right? We are applying fractional changes, recalculating the critical path every minute of that period oh, wow. and we're doing it in real time and it's both for um, delay analysis and forensic delay analysis too, yeah right? so you it, it's windows analysis it follows the aace recommended practice 29r1-03 and we're using mip 3.4 and we're following that algorithm, one of the things that it, it solves for you is if you have someone working for the owner and someone working for the contractor and they have the same set of XER files, then they go to court and they tell a very different story. Well, what this does for you is it gives you an objective analysis with no bias and we want both sides to look at the same truth 
and know that as the project is progressing and maybe avoid the whole reason for the dispute. Fantastic. So you mentioned yeah. MIP 3.4, right? That's right? One of the nine methodologies out of the forensic DNA analysis. Yeah. So just um, mm -hmm. is the software uh, capable of just running one uh, of those methodologies or um, <laughs> just curious? <laughs> yeah, so today, uh, yeah. And, and we're in June 2022, yeah. 3.4 is the, the one, one that it does. However, uh, I would predict that we will see more methodologies coming in uh, and, and we are also tracking progress uh, in case things get updated. We want to follow those methodologies. Ultimately, we would love for this to be used and hold up in court if it goes to court. Got it. Yeah. So any new advancements you have been recently working on? Yeah, so the biggest advancement is it's a 3D, we call it a 3D Gantt chart. Oh, nice. And so you're, you're looking at a Gantt chart mm -hmm. and there's the data date and you can click on it and drag it forward or back in time and, and see everything update in real time. Cool. And, and we don't think anyone has been able to do this yet, mm -hmm. but because of the speed of our critical path engine, yes. we can do this. Fantastic. So besides forensic delay analysis, is there any other type of analysis you can do? Any dashboard, sure. any visuals that people can get out of it? Yeah, so we do schedule health checks. We've been in that business since 2007. We had the first commercial DCMA 14-point assessment. Nice. Uh, we have been tracking what DCMA is doing with their DECM set of checks, and we support all of those. Uh, we can, we show you just a simple dashboard with green, yellow, and red, so that you can instantly see where some of the quality problems might be in your schedule. And can you drill down to those problems and go fix them? Absolutely, and we include in that tool, not just why, why does this matter? But also, well, what do I do next? And so we really designed it for people who, if they're writing schedules that have these quality problems, we want to give them the education and the rationale why it's important to fix it and how to fix it, what questions to ask. Fantastic. So um, how uh, about the integration with uh, the scheduling tool? Is it capable of integration with any scheduling tool out there or just some specific tools? Sure. So uh, we have uh, the project analyzer for AP, we call it AP6, project analyzer for P6. That works with Primavera. We have another tool called Steel Ray Project Analyzer that works with Microsoft Project. And those are the two platforms that we currently support. Fantastic. So thank you yeah. so much, uh, Brian. That was quite insightful. If someone wants to learn more or schedule a demo, uh, where, they, where they need to go? Sure. So we do. We love giving demos and, and they, you just come to steelray.com and you click on the product you're interested in and you can reach out to us and request a demo. We also offer a 10 day free trial of all of our tools. So we think it's important to try it out on your own data to see how it works for you. Fantastic. Thanks for the information provided, yeah, Brian. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you.